Hey guys, what's going on? Paul from Hashtag Sports. So Josh Allen threw out the first pitch for the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and a brief history of the failures of the past. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. That's right, Josh Allen on the bump. But let's just take it back a little bit and see some of our history. Ah, yes. Thanks to uh, 23.6 Sports on YouTube for this. Trent Edwards, everybody. Let's see how this goes. All right. Guys, I'm going to be honest. It's pretty brutal. And, yeah, that's where that ball ended up. Uh, there was no running back over there, so I'm not sure why he threw it there. Uh Come on, guys. You know you got to like, comment, and subscribe as we break down Josh Allen's uh, first pitch for the Toronto Blue Jays. But we do have just a couple more to review. This is the other Josh Allen uh, drafted the year after our Josh Allen. And now, mind you, he was in front of the hill, so he does make it to home plate, but they cut off quite a bit of distance. And, of course, there's everybody's favorite, Sean. Sean McDermott making sure to take care of uh, the fans in the back and there's just a there's a lot going on here. So let's look at this slow. We we have the benefit of the camera in the back. It looks pretty good here, but you'll notice right it uh, right about there. Uh, if you're paying attention to the jumbotron behind him, he's he's just crazy open. Uh, throws it like a cornerback. Uh, but we'll get into some more in depth breakdown for Josh here. We see him warming up in the parking lot. Uh, of Salins Field. Of course, thank you to Salins Field and the Toronto Blue Jays for having an ambulance so close to the franchise of the Buffalo Bills. Uh, he's going to dab up just a completely random uh, Toronto Blue Jays player. Uh, thanks to Dan for catching this clip over at Salins Field. Much appreciated. And again, Josh is just no problems catching the ball, no problems throwing the ball, just getting loose. And I... <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even notice that the first time. Hits the guy in the knee. I don't know who he's playing catch with. Hits the guy in the knee uh, with his warm-up pitch, and then he's going to come in and uh, and kind of talk about you know the expectations, where he's going to be, how it's going to go. Listen, it's got to be nerve-wracking going out there. I understand he plays in front of thousands and thousands of people, but it's got to be a little nerve-wracking. And there is Josh playing a little bit more catch. We we snagged this from Built in Buffalo. So, again, thanks to those guys. Find them on Facebook. Find them on YouTube. And these are two franchise players having a hug. That is Vlad Guerrero Jr. Talk about the future of both sports there between Josh and uh, uh, in football and, and Vlad and baseball. Vlad is, is really something special. This one's from Livingston County News. Let's take a look at how the pitch went before we get into it. And, yeah, we got some stuff to talk about. Um, so, first off, I want to congratulate Josh Allen. That is a big, sexy shoe game right there. It takes a big man to go out there and, and a pair of Jays and not crease them. We're going to talk about that. Now, mind you, that angle, if you're not paying attention, almost looks like he didn't completely bounce that ball. So, let's take a look at what we got going on here. So, nice high leg kick, really balanced here, right? We like to see that. Hand separation is a little late. And as I mentioned, that shoe is going to come into play because you see, notice, there's no crease in that shoe in the back. He is trying to keep those things fresh. And uh, again, he's got those big chest muscles. Doesn't really use uh, his core to throw the ball there uh, like, a, like a standard MLB pitcher would. So let's just take a little bit more of a look at, at what Josh is going on here. Again, nice, really solid balance point. Josh hasn't played baseball in years, so you can't really be too critical. But nice, solid balance point here. You're going to see as his leg starts coming forward, his arm break is a little late, which is going to make his upper body uh, a bit late too. He's also looks like he's ready to leg drive, but you'll just see he's really vertical, right? He keeps that front side close. He pushes the heel towards the catcher. Everything looks good here, except he is a, a little bit late uh, with uh, with breaking the hands. Uh, so his arm's going to drag behind a little bit. Okay. 
again, no drive on the backside, right? Like he's not using his back leg for anything. Foot's down. It's pointed relatively towards the catcher. That's fine. Normally, an MLB pitcher is, is closed just a little bit, and there is just open city, man. He never gets those shoulders closed at release, and you know that that weight. He just never uses his lower body. He's just so damn strong, though, that he's got no problem delivering a pitch. And that leg kick in the back is really just for effect. Uh, he did that. Uh, just because he knows he's supposed to. Uh, he didn't have enough leg drive to really get a good leg kick there. Um, he is super vertical, super tall, in a pocket that works great. And then he, you got to hit the bat, man, right? You got to hide, got to go hide in the bat cave after bouncing a ball 54 feet uh, on, uh, you know, when the Blue Jays are playing the Yankees. Like, you, you got to go hide. Uh, thanks to the Blue Jays for catching that clip. And Josh, ever the, uh, you know, ever the franchise. Uh, gives the ball to a kid uh, after throwing out the ceremonial first pitch for Buffalo tonight. Josh Allen gave my eight-year-old nephew Jackson the ball, and there you see that big old scuff mark. If you ever wonder why, when a ball hits a dirt, they take the ball out of play. Just go ahead and take a look at that baseball. You see, it's pretty mucked up. Pitchers look for grip, right? And sometimes getting a baseball scuffed up is perfect for them. Now, obviously, Josh had no intention on doing that. And given the precedent set by his coach, his coach from the mound threw it about 14 miles an hour, but it did get there. Uh, Josh Allen, the other Josh Allen, was in front of the mound, but it did get there. He does, uh, however, make a better effort than Trent Edwards, which I think is a nightmare none of us need to relive.